So you can't score 117 points unless you're in the lineup. And tonight, LeBron James returned to the chase to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA's all-time scoring leader. They are in Madison Square Garden. You see uh, highest averages at MSG in their career. LeBron fifth behind Jordan Durant, Kobe Harden, 28.1. Uh, he's going to get to that number. Back door, nice little cut there, knock, knock. LeBron, nine points, four of ten field goals in the first half. Three seconds left. LeBron, Dennis Schroeder, who just fires it, and uh, they were down four, and now they're down one. Like, they're good, but there's also luck right there. He just no look, no brainer, throw it up. Like Steph Curry means to do that. I don't know that everybody else does, but it still counts whether you tried to or not. Lakers down 53-52. It just shows to the kids, though, if you make the attempt, good things happen. James hits a three there. Now LeBron working over Julius Randle hits the shot. 73-68, they're ahead. Give me some more James. Inside. Oh, finally, the oh, sure, now the ref gives him a whistle. Uh, we've got it down to double digits. 99 away from Kareem. He would miss the free throw. Less than 10 to play. Now we're getting good. Lakers up three. LeBron, nice little bounce pass assist. Thomas Bryant goes in there strong. And with that one, more, more LeBron superlatives. Passes Steve Nash, fourth most assists all time. Pretty good. Dude's going to be the number one scorer and end up in the top three at least in assists. I'll hit that three right there. Figure like that game might have been over right there. And then the Lakers went dry, and the Knicks decide to just put something on them. Jalen Brunson. Misses eventually. Get it? We're trapped. What we do? Quentin Grimes all alone. It's a two-point game. 28 seconds to go. Empty possession by the Lakers. Not the other way. Brunson gets us even at 114. 37 points for him. 24 seconds to play. So LeBron's just going to hold this out. Pick, roll, and Anthony Davis just flat trucks Brunson. Like. Everybody in the world can call an offensive foul on that one. There is a no doubter. Brunson's in the restricted area, outside the restricted area, and, and he gets all the force that AD has to give him. So we're going to go the other way. Brunson, Randall, Randall will take it. And again here, million dollar coaches, that's what they came up with. Right there. Nothing. Overtime. 114 a piece. Uh, piece. Very first possession of overtime. Now, this is significant because they scored. This isn't like football, like, oh, they scored first, that's the end of the game. No, they play the full five minutes, but the Lakers are up two. They would not relinquish the lead. Davis had 27, nine rebounds, no locker room visits, so good work for him. Lakers up 123-118. 24 to go. Schroeder, James, there we go. This time, it's finished for reals. 28 points, 11 assists, 10 rebounds, first triple-double of the season. Lakers win at 129-123. LeBron now needs 89 points to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Based on the scoring average, 27.2 points per, he would pass Kareem in four games, February 9th against the Bucks. That might be nice symmetry there since Kareem started his career in Milwaukee. Based on a scoring average of 30.2 this season, it's going to be February 7th against the Thunder. Uh, those tickets right now in L.A. are off the charts in how much they cost. Uh, this assumes, of course, he'll play all the games. Sometimes, sometimes the kids sit out. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.